Father. And you can just tag along and get the prayer in the name of Jesus. Now I want to read something to you. The Lord lay something on me this morning when he tell me that for us to be prophetic sensitive. The Lord is saying right now Isaiah 22, 22 shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Whoever believes that Isaiah 22, 22 is your portion, share this to at least 10 of your friends. Share this to at least 10 of your friends and tell them that there is a word from the throne room here for them. And I'm going to break it down through the Bible. I'm not using a Ouija board. I'm going to use the Bible. I'm not using a tarot card. I'm going to use the Bible. I want to tell you something. In Isaiah chapter 22, I, I want you to uh, meditate and Isaiah 22, but especially verse 22. And I read, and then I'm going to break it down, and I'm going to, and then we're going to do some prophetic utterance. But before I do that, right now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the resurrected in who I am and who I serve. Right now, that God, that in the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things on earth and things on under the herd and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Right now, oh God, I effect and I enforce God legislated plan for purpose over and against all the plan and purpose of Satan in Daniel chapter 6 1. I decree and I declare this afternoon that this battle is not intrinsic or internal or its existence, but this battle external buckle may it be emotional financial social physical psychological interpersonal spiritual uh, organizational that form against me any battle that you try to form against me it shall not prosper it shall come to null and void in the mighty name of Jesus I place today upon myself oh God the armor of light and of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, today oh God, let the truth cover my loins. Uh, let the blessed spirit of righteous nature cover my heart uh, and my chest cavity in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, I come to you today with the gospel of peace to cover my feet. I come to you today with the shield of faith to defensively oh God and offensively cover my body. I put on the helmet of salvation to cover my head. I have the sword of the spirit, O oh God, which is the word of God. The Lord Jesus, O oh God, a robe of righteousness I wear. The glory of God is my reward. I decree today and I declare that the weapon of my warfare are not called but mighty true God by pulling down a stronghold and casting all the imagination of the knowledge of God in 2 Corinthians 10. Lord, right now, O oh God, I ask you, O oh God, my, the, uh, my thoughts, O oh God, are now subject to the Lordship of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. Right now, today, O oh God, I speak that God anointing destroy every yoke in my life and my, that my soul, spirit and body now function in order according to the divine system of protocol in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that I am healed. I decree and I declare that you are healed. Sickness and disease are free from me and you in the mighty name of Jesus. I overrule, I disallow, I veto every diabolic sanction, subverting activity and injunction, every directive mandate or order which oppose the will of God concerning my life, concern my finance, concern my ministry, concern my health in the mighty name of Jesus. I nullify every diabolic 
symbolic decision ruling concerning me am concerning my family concerning God ministry concerning my children I I rule oh God I overrule it right now and I nullify it with Yeshua blood in the mighty name of Jesus right now oh God I take control over the airway the galaxy the system the smear the stratosphere the atmosphere the atmosphere the realm the region the domain in the mighty name of Jesus Lord God I ask you oh God to dispossess master spirit and, and employ Michael Archangel and the angelic O's to handle every satanic contention right now disturbing this troop striving and every resistance concerning my life I overrule it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Jehovah Gabor contend with those who contend with me fight against those that fight against me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take all of the shield and buckler and I stand up for my help. I draw out my spear and I drop trap them. I blood God those who pursue me and persecute me. I close myself, oh God, in your garment of war and I muster my device and I gather up my arsenal for my divine arsenal, oh Oh God, make bright you my your my horror. I gather my shield against the, the wicked of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus today. Lord Savior Divine, I will have blood wash on these page and these platform. I wash them in the blood of the Lamb in the mighty name of Jesus. I wash myself with the blood of the Lamb. Wash yourself in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth right now right now oh god i forbid and i disallow further opposing activity of any satanic personality with every diabolic assignment concerning my life concern my ministry concern my family in the mighty name of jesus i wage a war for them now in the mighty name of jesus lord right now oh god I disallow, I disallow and prohibit every demonic interception, interference in my life. I disallow it. I cancel it. It is null. It is void right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind every satanic harassment today in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Maracotolia Sondorobo Shaya Yeketolia Sandaliando Rabahaya Mara de Cotolianto Sedebo Shada Bahaya Leba Cando Sondoria da Bahaya Reba Baba Shetelia Sotorianda Rabahaya Malayanda Ramahaya Handora Rabahe Shotulia Sando Shaya Leba Sete de Rebo Shiarabai Le Mando Seki and Dora Basat. I am. I lift every false burden. I lift every false burden right now. I lift false burden. I remove feeling of heaviness. Every feeling of heaviness that is on you around you. Let me get my oil. I lift every feeling of heaviness right now. I lift every every burden right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to go in it today. I, I'm going to go in it today. Hakotoli Yazamandada. Ale Mandada Basetai. Alebo sende rebo shia tolia satanda rabai raba baba baba sheke rebo shaya mandaliando se peke toliando se teria iko do shanda rabo go no ya leba sataliando se teriando rabo se ya makatoliando se teriando shaya leba baba shanda rabo se ya 
Makatorianda seterebo shaya, yade bo setenderebo shaya bahaya, makaranda rebo shia rabasaya, maleniando sedere bashaya, le mandada rabahete rebo sedebo shaya, le basanda rabasada rabo shaya, le bahando de bo sararabo shaya, le rebo setetenda rabastele rebo shia, le masanda rabasaya. Ma ba 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 shala e ba 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 ala da ba da ba le bo le da da ba da ya da ba se ya man da 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 i aya da da ba ha ya ala ma son do da ma ni a na da ba sa ya do 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 bo shi ya da da la ba ha la ban de de bo sha ya le ba sha da da bo sha ya ye ba she te de bo she ya da ba se da yo 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 shun do da bo yo do da bo yo so to de bo she ya la ba kan da da ba kala ye me kan do se ba ki an da da ba ra ba se te de bo sha ya at the blood of Jesus I command every false spirit I command every demonic spirit right now I lift oh God every false burden right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, lay back high under the Messiah. Every depression and oppression, I cast them upon the Lord who sustained me, who sustained you, and said, I shall not be moved. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare this day that the anointing and all covenant contract chains, fitters, bondage, productivity, captivity that are contrary to oppose our into the fulfillment of God's purpose in my life. It's null and void right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, oh God, I severe every silver card. I severe it right now with the sword of the, of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood and the spirit, I speak to my DNA. I speak to your DNA right now. Then I decree that I am free from all influence passed down from one generation to the next. Every DNA that passed down in your generation, speak to it right now. Sever it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every bad DNA from your mother's side, your father's side, your in-law and your outlaw. Speak to it now that it shall be severed in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, right now, oh God, I speak to my emotion right now, my psychologically and spiritual, or by any channel that anything that has come into me or you, Lord God, unknown to us, but known to God. I resist every spirit that act as a gatekeeper or a doorkeeper to my soul, and I renounce any further the conscious or unconscious alliance. Break every alliance that you have with any demonic cohort. Break every alliance today in the mighty name of Jesus. I wasn't coming on now. The Holy Spirit sent me here for somebody. The Holy Spirit sent me here for somebody. The Holy Spirit sent me here for somebody because you all don't want to hear the word of God. You do not want to hear the word of God. All you do, you jump from pillar to post, want prophecy. These people are living unholy and you want to prophesy, prophesy. And whenever every hell break loose, you want to come to me or inbox me. Do not inbox me. I will block you. It's the people that are down and out that call through the sick and the thin. I will accept their call. But the, otherwise, do not call me. You're not, you're not sowing in on my ground, but you want healing and deliverance. I am here to so say something today because I am test running this thing and I'm here that I am back. I was in consecration for a long time, but what I noticed with a lot of you, you rather go and pay for a prophecy. You as, as soon as they say to sow, because they, you may be intimidated by them, you do that. And when I said to sow, so you get off. If I said to so, if I have two thousand, three thousand, or five thousand friends, and you partner with a seed of a dollar. 
$2, $5, you cash up $10, $20, or whatever number the Lord said to do, and you, you are going to buy something to eat that day. You are going to a fast food restaurant, and the Lord said to you, I have got a word from this, this man ministry. I have got a word from this woman ministry. Let me put up what I would use for lunch and let me take it, put it into a jar to give it to this individual. Let me tell you something. I've been, I've been connect to a church and the church that I have been connected to, <clears throat> the pastor asks them, I'm going to go back and pray, but I multitask. I'm a prophetess. I talk in parable. The pastor asks them that they is asking them what they would use to go to Starbucks. Mm -hmm. What they would use to go to this place. What they would use to go to that place. He said, he said to them, he said to them, don't do that. What you do, save that money up for the month of February. And those people save those money up. Thank you, man of God. Those people save that money up that they would go buy coffee in the morning. It was a hundred and fifty-seven thousand dollars. They were able to give to an individual. Now I'm not telling you that this church is perfect because no such thing like as a perfect church. But I I am telling you, you, you want healing. As I see on this broadcast when I was going every day, I saw people said to me, woman of God, let me hold on. And tumor fell from their body. Tumor fell from their body. Another one talk how, how, um, um, the, the, the water was bad and got into her face and the face, it was, she was cleansed on my platform. No, the lepers cleansed on this platform. But what happened? You don't know my story. I come on and you think all is well. Look how I am on this morning. I was just trying out something that my daughter bought for me to, to go live and tell me I need to learn to use it. And I said to her, I do not know how to do it because it is broken. She said to me, mommy, I need you to try. And I try and to God be the glory. I got it working. What I'm trying to say you, you want to eat here at, at this table. You want to dine at this table. Or you want to dine at a man of God table. But you will not support the man of God. And you will not support the woman of God. Man of God, you are sowing on good ground. Man of God, you are sowing on a good, good ground. You will see how God is going to flip the script for you. Don't hold out and say it's just five dollar. Don't hold out and say it's just a million dollar. Don't hold out and say it's just a hundred dollar. God will turn things around supernaturally. I walk in the supernatural. I don't come on here and say, oh, I'm in the super. No, I know who I am and who I serve. So right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I said to you today, that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God will lift a standard against the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. The Spirit of God will lift up a standard against him. So right now I disallow, I forbid and I disallow further opposing activity of any satanic personality around you right now, around me, I put no right now, they will have not no diabolic assignment concerning my life, concerning my ministry, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm going to pray in the spirit right now, then I'm going to read the word, please don't leave, invite someone, it is your lunch time wherever you are. It's not night time where you're at right now. So let us pray. La bakudi andara raba sete de boshia. Makatanda da raba se ando zagadi ando zaba hia. Le bakatolia sa mandele andara raba sate. Shakatolia sa daba shede banda raba. Raba baba baba shete li ando sodi andara raba. Ye bakiri andali ando zaba genda zagede gado. Ya zagado zegene and the Zagada Mande Shadai, Zagadin and the Nundo Zagada Maya, Zeketeliando Zamaliando Zegedaya, Yagadaba Sede and the 
Sanda la Bahaya, Makatelia Sotoro Robo Shiarai, Jazamando Zegere Bahaya, Jezamando Zagade Yahaya, Zegereba Zonda Robo Shiarabazaya, Makado Shama Zegerebo Zandaro, Jezabazo do Zabaya Rabai, Zebahanda Rabashega Zadarai, Zabagede Bando Zodoro Robo Shia, Zegadara in the name of Jesus. You see, a lot of you are under demonic influence and you do not want to get delivered. I'm praying in tongues and you're gone because you do not want to get delivered. You want everybody to prophesy in your life. And you, I can be speaking in tongue and you can be going to the bathroom peeing. You can be going to the bathroom um, peeing or doing a number one or number two or might be drinking some water or might be hitching yourself. That means that the Lord is giving you deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Nobody no want to throw no heart, no stars, it is well. But let me tell you something right now. We oppose and we oppose every this demonic interference and interception today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now, oh God, I lift us burden and remove feelings of heaviness off me, off you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I remove every oppression and depression right now. I cast them upon the Lord who sustained me, who sustained you, and said, I shall not be moved. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, O oh God, by the anointing of covenant and contract, chain, fetters, bondage, have been and captivity, contrary to the opposed the will will of the Lord are, are, are null and void. It is broken today in the mighty name of Jesus. I am liberated from generational curse. Hallelujah. I am liberated from satanic curse. Hallelujah. I am liberated. I am liberated. You have been liberated. I sever them right now with the sword and the spirit. I speak to my DNA right now. And I decree and I declare that I am free from all influence. Passed on from one generation to the next. I break that now in the mighty name of Jesus. I break it now today. I'm going to church tonight. I just heard that I'm going to I'm going to be doing church tonight. I'm going to be ministering tonight. So you see, let me tell you, God is a God that don't play with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Don't play with Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the Living God. These because He's a God all by Himself. My precious, precious woman of God, all of you are precious. But my love, oh God bless you. Thank you for coming on today. I'm, I just was just free flowing. I am free flowing. I am happy in spite of what I am going through. I don't look like what I'm going through. I've been through. But God is good. Right now, we cut off all those DNA, those bad DNA that our forefather, our 10 generation has passed on to us. I cut it off. You know, I, I, I walk in the prophetic, so I speak in parable. I speak in parable. Rabba and Rabba Sayadabai. Right now I decree and I declare, O oh God, that I pray a shield, the anointing fire rod, the smoke screen, and the bloodline form a hedge of protection around us right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray again, but I'm free flowing. I'm going with the Holy Spirit. I'm not going with you. I'm going with the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to decree and declare to yourself. If you have your Bible, I do not like the Bible on the phone, but if you have to use the phone, it's okay. I am going to tell you something right now. Decree and declare, make a declaration and hold on. To the key of David, Isaiah 22, especially verse 22, meditate on it and, 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 and hold on to that. That is a prophetic declaration for this year. Hold on for on it. Right now I'm going to read in, in the name of Jesus, Isaiah 22. 
I know a lot of you do not like to read the Bible. You just want to hear a prophetic word and you go. The burden against the valley of vision. What also now, now, also now that you have all gone up and to the house top. You are fu- you are full of noise. A, t- a, t- a t- tremendous city. A joyous city. Who sl- who slain men are not slain with the sword, nor dead in battle. All your rulers are fled together. They are captured by their archers. All who are found in you are bound together. They are fled from afar. Therefore I said, look away from me. I will weep bitterly. Do not labor to comfort me because of the plundering of the daughter of my people. For it is, it, for it is a day of trouble and treading down and perplexity by, by the Lord God of hosts in the valley of vision, breaking down the wall and of the crying of, of the mountain and bore the quiver. With chariots of men and horsemen, and cur and cover the shield, it shall come to pass that your choicest valley shall be full of chariots, and all the horsemen shall set themselves array at the gate. He removed the protection of Judah. You look in the day of the armor of the house of the forest. You also saw the damage of the city of David. That was great. I am reading this and I'm thinking about Ukraine. Let me read and then break it down. And some of us. And you gather together the water of the lower pool. You number the house of Jerusalem. Hey, and the house you broke down to fortify the wall. You also made a reservoir between the two walls for the water of the whole pool. But. You did not look in, look, you, you did not look to it, its maker, nor did you respect for him who fashioned it long ago. Labasa. And in the day, the Lord God of hosts called for weeping and mourning, for, for baldness and from grinding with sackcloth. But instead of joy and gladness, slain oxen, killing sheep, eating meat and drinking wine let us eat and drink for tomorrow we die you hear that then it was revealed in my hearing by the lord of hosts surely for the iniquity there will be no more atonement for you i'm going to tell you what atonement is there will be no more atonement for you you hear that there will be no more atonement for you even to your death, say the Lord of hosts. Thus say the Lord God of hosts. Go proceed to the steward, to Shibana, who is over the house, and say, What have you here, and when have you here, that you have, have owned a, a specular here? As he who owned himself as a, a specular, on and high, who carves a tomb for himself in a rock. Indeed, the Lord will throw you away violently, O mighty man, and will surely seize you. He will surely turn violent and toss you like a ball into a large country. There you shall die, and there your glorious chariot shall, shall be the shame of your master house. So I will drive you out of your office and from your position. He will pull you down. Then it will be, it will, it shall be in the day that I call my servant Elakim, the son of Iachiah. I will clothe them with your robe and strain him with your belt. I will come, I will commit your responsibility into his hand. He shall be the father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. The key of, of the house of David I will lay 
on his shoulder so he shall open and no no one shall shut and he shall shut and no one shall open i will fasten him in a peg to secure a place and he will become a glorious throne to his father's house hey baka there will he hang on him all the glory of the father's house and the offspring of the prosper of the pastory all the vessel of small quantity and the cup to all the pitchers in that day say the lord of hosts what the lord is saying he's saying the peg that is fastened is secure is in a secure place he will be he, he will be removed and cut down and fall the burn that was was will cut off for the lord has spoken how many of you, us the lord have been speaking to us and we are not listening how many of us the lord has give us a divine assignment to do something for someone how many of us god is saying do this for her do this for him but let me tell you what he's saying he's saying after the subscription of the oracle against jerusalem consists of five parts a contrast between Jer jerusalem bind reverently to isaiah appealing vision the is selfish listen to this is selfish ruler and fled the city leaving it to plundered abaye katoria mandele basuturi andarabai ye katora kondolo boshia bahaya ye banda seteri andaraboshai la basetandoli andasa look at what is happening to you in ukraine you have to give that prime minister in ukraine kudos you have to say glory to god i prayed for him he has not leaving the city of ukraine he has not leaving the country of ukraine he sit there he don't leave it for it to plunder this is what the lord is saying and this may apply to you because it applied to me Isaiah detailed the vision of the city falling Isaiah in 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 indictment of Jerusalem of uh, it been misplaced of confidence it is defense is instead of the Lord is indictment of the response of merry making is merry making over it instead of repenting how many of us is laughing at you and I scorn instead of they repent for what they have done to us how many laughing at our scorn how many laughing at our place how many right now is laughing at us a lot of people should be here today to hear the word of the lord but they do not want to hear the word of the lord they just want to hear prophesy 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 is good prophesy when you're under the anointing how much how long did the lord prophesy did he prophesy every day there are times that the lord showed me things and he said do not say for example i went somewhere that my daughter was lamenting about me going and when i went it was not what it was intended to be and i got stuck there but god let me tell you something listen to the voice of the lord because what the lord said the apostle says seal jerusalem doom the vision is followed by the example of jerusalem blindness a lot of us are spiritually blind waiting to be physically blind the lord is saying that i want your prophetic ears to be on antenna i want your prophetic to be on the alert the lord is saying the valley of the vision describe jerusalem mount zion it, 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 it personified in the valley which couldn't which you could not see nothing instead of of, of partying and the oh stop the ailing city should have a prayer closet instead of us partying and the whole stop instead of we partying and the oh stop we supposed to have a prayer closet where we need to go in 
This is time to pray. I don't know what time is it at your place, but this is time to pray. You need to have a little closet. You need to make room for the Lord. If you cannot make room for the Lord, how do you expect him to make room for you to bless you? You need to have a little place and dedicate it to the Lord. I'm not telling you to have a halter, big up. I don't, I, I don't know. Some people call a halter. This is my halter. The Holy Bible. This is my altar. I don't know what you call your altar. I don't know if you have candle burning. What you call your altar. But we should have a place that we set the Holy Book down. Where we go and we meet with the Lord. Let me tell us something. Whether it's rain or it don't rain. There is a sign that Jesus show me every day. Even at night. The, the other night it was 10.30. Where do you hear at, in 10.30 at night, you're going to see 22 rainbows. It doesn't happen like that. I move in the supernatural by the grace that God has given me. He has given me what he know that I can carry. Let me say something right now to you. Go and get a prior closet. The prophet vision, the ruler are not slay, slain with the sword while they are defending the city, but are captured while feeling to save their own skin. Now, what is happening in Ukraine? What is happening in Ukraine? And you do not want to pray for them? What is happening right now in Ukraine? Isn't Isaiah 22 speaking to us, you and I? We are going through our struggle and Ukraine is going through even a harder struggle. But guess what? We would rather watch people suffer than to stretch out the right hand to help. We're going to say God did not say that and then we say God said it and then we say God did not say that. That's what we do. What That's what a lot of us do. But there's a, that there's a price to pay. When you mess with the anointed one, the Bible is saying, um, the Bible is saying that El, El, El Kim eliminate may have been a part of the Assyrian army. The gate, the same army that plundered Babylon will arrive at Jerusalem gate. Not while I'm here in the mighty name of Jesus. Yebakuri and Rabasaya. The house of the forest is the nation armory. When you see the house of the forest is the nation armory. The defense of the city depend upon the open of the availability of the water that is within the wall. There is water within your wall. There are water that is within your wall. In the mighty name of Jesus, no one will plunder your city. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am here today to encourage myself and to encourage you. There is a thing named call for weeping and for mourning. But instead of, instead, you will have joy and gladness. God demand repentance and renewal of his people. God want us to repent. God want us to be renewed. He want us to be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus. I am going to leave you with something right now. When he said that he put a peg, he said, when he said this, this toward and at the key, he gave him an audience with the king. At your quiet time, if you look at Matthew 16, you're in Revelation 3 and 7, you will see the key of David. I pray today that I will be holding the key of David and you will be holding the key of David in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Yeshua Mashiach, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us hold that key in the name of Jesus. Let us hold on to that key. A peg suggests one who is firmly placed, a reliable person, someone that is firmly placed. When he said a peg, you are reliable and you, you, he placed you there. You are firmly placed there. You are firmly placed there. 
and you will bring honor and memory. The Lord said, all vessel, the vessel is a metaphor. The vessel is a metaphor for all the inhabitants, both the influential and the non-significant. Let me tell you something. I love to tell people, you never see a hearse with a money bag or a U-Haul truck behind it. My mother died in November and she did not have a U-Haul truck. She did not even know what she was responsible for. She didn't know nothing. She's gone. She's dead. I, I picked out what I want her to be buried in. What am I trying to say to you? Let us get along. Let us support each other. Whether in prayer or financially, be a partner to somebody. Be a, be a, be a covenant partner. Why is it so hard for you to be a covenant partner? Does it take a million dollars for you to be a covenant partner? It doesn't take a million dollars from you to be a covenant partner. If someone cannot pay a bill, isn't it that the Bible tell us that we must first take care of the old soul of faith? Oh, you are a believer or a follower of Jesus. Now, no one cannot dig it from your hand because you hold on to what you got. But if we are a follower of Jesus, or are we a believer in Christ Jesus? Because remember, Judas followed Jesus and then he betrayed him. Let us do better. I am here today to tell us to help one another. I'm here today to tell us to help one another. You know, when someone had reached out to me, he don't know that I have the same situation as him. And I said to him, do not speak like that. Because God will not put you to shame. God is going to take care of you. And I see where he testified that God did take care of him. I am here to tell you that God is going to take care of me. And he's going to take care. He's taking care of me. And I pray that he's taking care of you. So what I want, I want us to have an, a unity alliance. Don't watch the crowd. It's not the size of the gun. It's the effect of the bullet. I used to carry 2,000, 3,000 people. Thank you, woman of God. On my live feed, 100,000 people watching. But I didn't, I, wa I wasn't on every day. I was not on every day. I have to take time to listen to the word of God, to listen to what the Lord is saying to the church, to listen to what the Lord is saying, because I am the church. Now that he have imputed in me, to come on. I will be on by his special grace. Um, try to do it almost every day or every other day. Because I do do full-time ministry. I am a full-time chaplain. But a one that has been hurt. That I was left for dead on the battlefield. I was left to dead on the battlefield. So I am here today to tell somebody. I am here today to tell myself and to let you know. That God is real and he's faithful and he is true in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us take a lesson from the character of Jesus. Let us take a lesson from the character of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. So I leave you with this word today, this prophetic word. That the anointing of God will positively transform your life and make you a blessing to your generation in the mighty name of Jesus. So Father, my Father, anoint me, O oh God, for good work in your kingdom in the name of Jesus. The anointing that break all yoke, let it fall upon my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. By the anointing of fire, I destroy the chain of limitation and delay in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. By the anointing, by the anointing, I'm asking that your chains will be broken today in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Father God, give me the anointing to achieve supernatural success in my secular and spiritual assignment. Ask the Lord to give you anointing to accept in the secular world and the spirit world in the mighty name of Jesus. Because when you can rule in the spirit world, you dominate the physical world. A father, put your anointing to work in my life and let my Goliath fail in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today to put the anointing, the anointing, to work in your life so that the Goliaths around you will fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God arise, oh God arise, baptize me 